Breaking news, my wonderful people. The indigenous people of Biafra, Ibo, has recently called on the people of Southeast Nigeria to refrain from heeding the messages of Simon Ipa, a Biafra agitator based in Finland. In a statement released by the IPOP spokesman, Ima Powerful, he emphasized the importance of not giving credence to Ipa's claims and encouraged the public to stand with Mazi Namdikano, the detained leader of IPOP. Ima Powerful questioned Simon Ipa's actions of declaring himself the Prime Minister of Biafra, while Mazi Namdikano, whom he allegedly follows, remains in detention. He urged fellow Igbos to avoid following Ipa's lead, stating that every Biafran must stop observing any sit-at-home orders from this infractors. The enforcement of the sit-at-home orders, according to the IPOP uh, spokesman, has led to sev uh, severe repercussions, providing opportunities for criminals to perpetrate violence and criminal activities. He also accused the Nigerian government of sponsoring this criminality and expressed concern about the endangerment of innocent citizens due to the invasion of aggressive Nigerian security agencies. Now, in the midst of this development, Mazenamdi Kano has tried, you know, to dissuade the infiltrators from enforcing these sit at home orders. But his messages seem to have fallen on deaf ears. Now, Ipa's statement urged the public to reject such orders and not comply with them. And the ongoing agitation for Biafran sovereignty has been a continuous issue in Nigeria with diverse options within the Southeast region. Simon Ipa's involvement from his base in Finland has raised questions about his motives and credibility among IPOP members and supporters. They called the call by IPOP to disregard Ipa's uh, uh, statement maintained unity behind Mazin Amdikano may signal a further division among the Biafra agitators. So my country people, Ima Powerful have made the statement. And the impact of this development on the region's stability and security remains a concern for authorities and citizens alike. The government's response to this solution will likely be closely monitored, you know, because they are trying to find a balance maintaining law and order while respecting the rights and the aspirations of those advocating for the Biafra, uh, the, the Biafra actualization and the Biafra independence. So my country people, the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has issued a statement to the public urging the people of the Southeast Nigeria to ignore any calls from Simon Ipa, to ignore any declaration from Simon Ipa, and to remain loyal and faithful to their detained leader, Mazin Amdikano. And as this situation unfolds, it is very, very, you know, crucial for all parties involved to find peaceful means for resolution while respecting the rule of law, protecting the lives and the properties of citizens in the state. Mazin Amdikano have, you know, went to an extent of writing a letter to Simon Ipa that uh, CEO, this letter is to tell the public, to tell Nigerians, Biafrans, that uh, those orders are not coming from him. And Simon Ipa should desist from, uh, you know, sending those uh, orders to the Southeast region because it is really causing a lot of crisis. Now, my country people, Mazin Amdikano is yet to be released from the DSS custody. He has not been released yet. That's why Simon Ipa is going around trying to, you know, shake people in the Southeast region and the federal government so as to get Mazin Amdikano released from the DSS custody. But then, my country people, this issue of going around 
causing crisis mayhem in the states is not the best way to go, according to the IPOP. So they have said IPA now is like a mole within the IPOP that IPA is not working for Mazin Namdekano. No, that Simon IPA is not working for Namdekano at all. Because this guy is trying to spoil the name of IPOP. And anything he's doing in the name of IPOP, he's spoiling Mazin Namdekano's name. He's painting his name black. So IPOP, who have constantly disassociated itself from the activities of IPA. No, today they begin to talk this thing. It has been long. The IPOP have, you know, cut off all ties with Simon IPA, saying anything that IPA is doing is on his own. He's not taking any order from uh, Namdi Kano. But then Simon IPA is doing all this in the guise of. You know, trying to get Mazin Namdekano released from the DSS custody. And they've said that Simon Ipa is a hater of Ndibo and particularly the IPOP. So members in the that's the IPOP members in the Southeast region should beware and not take any orders coming from Simon Ipa. So my country people, Simon Ipa now is now like a, a mo in the IPOP, according to the IPOP, they have released a statement through its spokesperson, Ima Powerful. Let's not forget that the Ohanes in Divo had placed a bounty on Simon Ipa to get him down. So many groups have been saying, oh, Simon Ipa should be arrested. He should be brought into Nigeria. Well, guys, the IPOP have spoken. So my country people, what are your thoughts on this thing, on this issue? Because Nandi Kano have written a letter, officially to put an end to the seat at home orders in the Southeast region. Though people are saying that uh, Mazin Nandi Kano's letter is not authentic. But then, the letter is there. It has the signature of uh, Nandi Kano. And he wrote this letter. So that nobody will come and point fingers at him for the actions being perpetrated by Simon Ipa. So my country people, I'm dropping here. What are your thoughts on this? Kindly share your thoughts concerning this in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.